Get is back at Kibbe's Gorham home today, which is 35 miles from Abby's house in Conway. Part of their focus is his storage container in his backyard. And New Center Fives Rondella Richardson spoke to several neighbors today. And Rondella, they all say they're horrified by the accusations against him. That's right. This is the Gateway Trailer Park, and everyone's trying to think, do they remember anything suspicious? This is where Kibbe has lived for the last five years, and this latest news, simply shocking. Was Abby Hernandez ever on your radar, even, down never, here? I would have oh, never, no, never thought, never. never even would have come across my no. mind that she would have been here. You know, I'm thinking... fly is up here. I don't believe there's ever even been a flyer in Gorham. Mm -hmm. Now, it's all anyone at this Gorham, New Hampshire trailer park talks about, especially after the FBI and state police stormed the park yesterday to arrest 34-year-old Nathaniel Kibbe here for kidnapping. And the next one over. With the green shutters? Yep. Well, according to the neighbor across the street, he watched him go into the trailer, take him out, put him on the ground, handcuff him, and take him away. Neighbors say he walked around carrying a weapon. He'd walk up the street with his wheelbarrow to go get something, you know, some dirt or whatever, and he'd have a sidearm on his side. You know, it's like, and in a small town like this, and you know, even in a park like this, you don't you don't see stuff like that on a daily basis. Residents are horrified by the allegation Kibby could have kidnapped 15-year-old Abby Hernandez. No, I have a 15-year-old. I can't imagine that at all. No. Nope. And everything is so close here. Behind Kibby's house, investigators are working around a large dark red container or shed. He had a soundproof bunker and he, he enjoyed his guns quite a bit. And he enjoyed shooting his guns in his yard inside his soundproof bunker, which seemed kind of a little odd to me. It's a steel shed, and if it's soundproof, I don't think he kept her in there because she would have froze in the winter. And you walk by there, you didn't hear nothing. It's about an hour away from here where those investigators are going door to door in that trailer park. About 50 trailers there, and the residents seem quite relieved by the high bail for Mr. Kibbe. Live in Concord, New Hampshire, Rondella Richardson, WCVB News Center 5.